Okay, so we start with the MACD line. I have already given you the background. We will start by creating it on Excel. I'm sharing my screen now. Okay. So this is the screen. Stock history, I told you about this function. I have kept the syntax also for you. So we have to do it on Nifty from 1st of July, 2019 to 30th of June, 24. Uh, and I have kept a daily interval. So daily is daily interval. And now I will take the five years ka data. So the five years data for stock history comes up. You can check actually, it starts from around 11, 12,000 range, almost double now, 24,000 range in, in the last five years. So that is why I always say that long-term investments are the most valuable investment. Agar five years pehle aapne 10 lakh rupay invest kiye hote, to aaj wo 20 lakhs hota. Straight mathematics, more than 20 lakhs actually. Okay, no FD will be able to give you that return. So that is the Nifty data, and agar main isko count karo, to aap dekhoge, yahan pe 1238 observations hai, which means that over the last five years there have been approximately 1238. Trading days. Okay, normally 252 hota hai, plus minus working days. I mean plus minus holidays and all that. So first step is to take the fast line, which is the hello. Shh. The first step is to take the fast line, which is the 12 day moving average. So pehle we will count 12. Here. So I take the 12 day average of the Nifty data. This is my 12 day average. This is the 12th day. Okay. On the 12th day, I take the 12 day moving average. Is that okay? Now, we take the 26 day moving average that will be on the 26th day. So go up to the 26th day. This is the 26th day here. So on the 26th day, here they go count 26 or right? So on the 26th day, just highlight it so that you don't forget and here we will take the 26th day moving uh, uh, 26th day average rather you will see that the 26th day average obviously is slightly lower because you have a longer time period that's why it's the fast line and the slow line so in my app now we will now we will do the uh, exponential moving average just kele we will use this formula that I am showing here. Sabse pehle hume yahan pe we have to take the uh, multiplier. The multiplier is nothing but 2 by t plus 1. 2 by t plus 1. For example, 12 day ka multiplier hoga 2 by 12 plus 1 which is 0.15. 26 day ka multiplier will be 2 by 26 plus 1, which is 0 0.07. So this is the 12 day multiplier and the 26th day multiplier. Now we need to create the moving averages. Moving average ke liye ek hi simple formula hai, which I am putting it right above. It is your Previous EMA minus close multiplied by your multiplier plus your pre previous EMA. This is the formula that you will use. Previous EMA minus close closing price. Okay, now. into multiplier plus 
previous EMF. Is it okay? So let's do the calculation here. Yeah, they cook yoga. Previous EMA minus the close of that day into the multiplier plus the previous EMA. Okay, because basically your grading case it is showing you. So here, because your closing price has increased from 11,662 to 11,687, your EMA has also increased slightly. We are doing it based on the 12-day period. So the weightage will be less. 26 more, that way it happens. Now, before I go any further, I will freeze my uh, previous EMA freeze करने की जरूरत नहीं close करने की जरूरत नहीं multiplier को हमें freeze करना पड़ेगा because multiplier is a constant है ना उसके बाद we will double click तो ये twelve day की line आ गई आपके Just one second. Huh? Just give me one second, please. I think I made a mistake in the formula. Sorry. It's close minus previous EMA. My mistake. Sorry. So, here it will be the formula slightly different. It is close price minus previous EMA into multiplier plus the previous EMA. I made a mistake in the formula. That's why this happens. It behaved erratic. Ah, this is better. Okay. This is your 12 day line. Similarly, for the 26 day also, it will be close minus the previous EMA into multiplier plus the previous EMA. Please freeze your previous EMA. 
uh, sorry, please freeze your multiplier and then drag it down. So this is your 26 day EMA. And your formula is, it's actually close minus previous EMA. Okay, so this is the formula for the 26 day EMA. Then you have the MACD line, which is nothing but your difference between the 12 day and the 26 day. So that in this, you don't need to freeze anything, just double click. The 12 day line minus the 26 day line, fast minus slow is your MACD line. Ab ye wali jo line hai, this is your MACD line. Remember, MACD lines are always shown in blue. This is your MACD line. And now what we will do, we will take the, we'll construct the signal line, which is the nine day average of the MACD line. So I don't, as I told you, signal line is always the shadow to the MACD line. So we will count 9 count karenge pehle. This is your ninth day. Right? So pe we will take the average for the first case, first observation. Okay? And for the remaining observations, the same formula. MACD close minus previous EMA. Which will be 2 divided by 9 plus 1. So it will be closing MACD minus previous EMA into multiplier plus previous EMA. Now here we will have, again we will have to freeze the multiplier and then drag it down. So now you have the signal line also. Signal line is generally in orange. So I will shade the signal line also here. So this is your signal line. And now you can construct the graph of the MACD and the signal line also. For example, if I want last five MACD line karna chahu, I can do this, insert, recommended charts and take the line chart. Abhi kya hai? Isme aapko probably it will not show you that way because it's uh, it's it's in a compressed form. But if you really want to see the MACD line, you should uh, extend it a little on all the sides. Then you will be able to see it. Ah, can you see this? This is your MACD line. Now what we will do, we can uh, we can also indicate we can also add the signal line series here. So here I will right click, go to select data. And here I will write MACD, right? And add another series, I will call it as signal. And in the values, I will take the signal line ke values. Ye wale. And press OK. Now you will see a orange line also coming. So the blue line is the MACD line. The blue one. And the orange line is the signal line. Signal. Blue line is the MACD and the orange line is the signal. Now if you see the current data, you will see that the End of July, you are 
seeing a bullish momentum building up. That's what happened exactly when it breached the 25,000 mark. The grab for how the blue line has cut through the signal. So that was a bullish indicator end of July, end of June rather. That's why you saw a bullish streak in July. Now we can also build a histograms. Histogram is very simple. It is just a difference between the MACD and the signal line. So I'll build a histogram also here. So here I can do MACD minus signal. This way you don't need to do any formula, just drag. So your histogram will be created. And you can add this histogram also on your chart. It will appear as histograms. Of course, we will have modification in the post. But it will show you as histograms. So I go here in the chart. I go to the chart here, right click, select data, add another series and call it as histogram. And for the Y values, I will take the histogram values and press OK. So, now how is it? You will chart ke se aega, but we can change the chart type. So, this histogram ke jo chart hai, us pe we will right click and change chart type to uh, Yeah. Can you see that? So now you are seeing a uh, histograms also coming up. You can change the chart design as well. If you want a different design, you can see something like this. So it becomes prominent as well. So you can see the this is where the bearish trend has started, and you can see. The histograms downwards. Jitna zyada divergence, utne bade histograms. Yahan pe divergence zyada nahi hai. Isliye aapke histograms kafi chote hai. So, this is where it, uh, this is where it cut from below. And that's your bullish momentum indicated by histograms. And if you see that interestingly, Nifty ka divergence hasn't been too much right throughout. So ye jo tha, possibly this is the COVID crash period. This is the COVID tw around 2020 ka period. Hai. Huh? January 2020 ke aspas the COVID news started. So that's when these crashes happened. Possibly. Okay. So you can find out and you can even compare with trading view and you can see. So if I uh, only thing is my uh, trading view desktop might not work here, but in a sense, this is how you construct a MACD line. Okay.